Action. Get out. Cut. She's a real sad tomato. She's a busted valentine. You remember that one? In the summer of 1970, the audience at the Hollywood Festival near Newcastle, not Los Angeles, witnessed the emergence of a band with a gap tooth singer with a permanent smile, Mungo Jerry. The Hollywood Festival was on, must have been the Saturday and the Sunday. Then the record was, and the record was released on the Friday. It went into the charts on the Wednesday because the charts were a day late. And we did a TV show on the Sunday, and uh, we got stuck in the lift. It was at the BBC, and everybody was waiting for us to go in looking for the band. There were 13 people stuck, stuck in the lift for half an hour, <laughs> and they were really panicking because the program has to be shot on video and then put together very quickly, and then it went out the same evening, about 10:30. So we all drove in our cars afterwards to back, back to uh, back home to see if we could see ourselves on TV. Got there just as it was finishing. first single was in the summertime. It enjoyed an overnight success all over the world. One day Mungo Jerry was a bunch of complete unknowns. The next they were dragged from one TV show to another to open air concerts like the Rotterdam Festival. It was absolutely the craziest thing I've ever seen. And they had all these paper plates where they had food and they were flying them in the air and and all the, tr all the trees were swinging with people. It was a really incredible sight to see from the stage. 150,000 people all freaking out on this, this music that we played down the pub. Very quickly, it turned out that Ray Dorset, the pair of Cyburns singing with Mungo Jerry, had a gift for writing throwaway songs that stayed with you forever. After a while, though, even Mungo himself wanted to move into somewhat heavier stuff. It was decided that I got this record out, Long Legged Woman Dressed in Black, and I should go into the glam rock stuff instead of all this furry. I'll take this off, and I'll... I will put it on, and, and we'll see how, how crazy I looked in, in, uh, in that particular time. She's a long thick woman dressed in black, dressed in black, dressed in black, dressed in black, black, black. She's a long thick woman dressed in black, dressed in black, dressed in black, dressed in black, black, black. Every time I make the move, she tell me no. How about that? Do I look do I look like a a, a, a middle-aged pop star from the 70s? Every time. 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 Long-Legged Woman turned out to be the last hit for Mungo Jerry the group. Ray Dorset, however, wrote a third number one hit almost ten years later. One hit every ten years? That can't really be called hyperactive, can it? In a sense, it looks like I'm not very busy, but and then if you look at if you look at the success rate, it's quite high because the things that I do offer out get used for the projects that they're aimed at. I wrote this song with Elvis Presley in mind. It's called Feels Like I'm In Love, and I recorded it for Polydor and did it as a demo, and it got mixed up with some tracks that were sent over to France, and it was released on the B-side of a single in France, and somebody got to hear it and said it should have been done by a girl, and it was offered to a couple of, couple of girls. <clears throat> I won't I won't still go into detail, but anyway, Kelly Marie recorded it. After this surprise hit, success really came to an end, and Ray Dorset found out the hard way that money is far easier to spend than it is to earn. He had to sell his house, his Bentley, and get back to work. I've become more serious about the music business now in the last fa about five years because I started getting a lot of financial problems with tax and VAT and personal things that all seem to be 
causing a lot of hassle. I thought I'd better start concentrating on work a bit. But um, it's more important to me to relax and and have a have a life. You don't really need to be mega famous, you know. In the summertime, when the weather is hot, you can stretch right up and touch the sky. When the weather's fine, you got women, you got women on your mind. Have a drink, have a try, go out and see what you can find. Almost 20 years away since I wrote that one, and sold about 25 million records around the around the world. And as I sit here in squalor, thinking I've got to clean out my own spoon for what's happened to all the money. <laughs> it's a tough old life.